Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I just basically wanted to get on here. Any one of you that have had anything, uh, a lot of people feel like they have witchcraft over them or somebody has prayed a spell and you can tell when something has gone on with you that is not of God. Everybody can tell. So this is a prayer and I'm actually, this is for the YouTube family and all the rest of the um, outlets that I actually, cause I'm going to, I'm actually going to place the prayer, but I'm going to read it too. So you can go back and actually, you know, say it. It's very simple and it, it, ca it covers everything. All right. So somebody was talking to me about, they believe witchcraft was on them. All right. And so if you notice, I said, well, that's witchcraft. So let me tell y'all the prayer. Okay. It says, dear father, God, I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. I denounce every covenant known and unknown. I denounce every agreement that I've made with any witch or warlock, unknown or known. I sever every curse or spell to the root of that thing. I believe in the healing and deliverance of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Just one touch from him can heal and deliver me. Y'all have to believe it now. Even if he just sent a word, I can be instantly healed and delivered. I still believe in the power of God. Lord God, I repent for any part I may have played in any of this through sin or disobedience. You, you got to be real with God because God saw when you did what you did. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I ask you to be Lord over my life. Please come into my heart and help me to live a godly life and learn how to walk in wisdom and discernment. And obedience in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. I say that this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked in in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Um, I say that this prayer should go and accomplish what it was sent to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. These prayers are real. You know, um, we have some very good eloquent speakers where people can preach and teach and reach. But can I tell you something? And I keep going back to this on purpose. You can preach and teach and look at all the books. And I'm telling y'all this, please pay attention. It is the word of God that heals you. It is the word of God that delivers you. It is the word of God that encourages you. It's the word of God that gives you wisdom and discernment. It is the word of God. Jesus didn't speak his mind. He spoke the word. You want something broken over your life? It is the word, but you have to do your part. You can't be sinning to win. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Cause sinning is not winning. I, I know y'all think so. It might feel good to the flesh, but I promise you, you're going to reap it. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. The thing with God, just be real. God, I did it. I repent, God. You have to ask God, God, keep me. I, God, and you got to renew your mind. Can I tell you something? I wasn't always this person. I, I wasn't, a, I, I don't think I was a very good person when I was young. I did a lot of crazy stuff, bad stuff. I'm going to keep it a hundred. I am this person because I gave everything to God. I said, God, I don't want to do these things anymore, but you got to teach me how. But then I had to do my part. I had to stop doing what I was doing. Stop hanging around certain people, certain places and had to get serious. You know, they call it a detox, a detox stage when you're on drugs. But it's the same stage when you're getting out of sin. It's going to hurt because your body wants to go do those things. You want to drink. You want to smoke. Whatever you used to do, your body still want to do that. Every day you got to stay saved. Come on, somebody. I'm preaching up in here. Every day you got to stay saved. This ain't no one time thing. That's how people backslide. Every day you got to, you got to decide. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that because you might not want to tell it, but it's the truth. The enemy always going to be messing with you in that same area that God delivered you from. Truth be told. Now you get stronger with it as you get closer to God, but you're until you die, you're going to always have temptation. Trying to tempt you, trying to pull you back into that old sin. You have to be mentally strong by renewing your mind in that Bible. That Bible is real. You have to get in that word. The devil don't want you in that word. That's why he created all this entertainment, Facebook, all this other stuff. Because guess what? Now the the Bible is boring to people. The devil knew what he was doing. Because if I can make entertainment to appease the flesh, then they're not going to want to sit and read that word. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So that's how you get delivered. All right. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. Stay prayed up. God bless you. Good night.